Is your schedule different every day? Even if it's not, looking for a faster way to plan and keep your classes straight? I made a completely forever free, no strings attached program that runs in Excel. I'm a high school physics teacher who programs for fun. I made this specifically to help me better visualize a rotating schedule and to give a flexible, fast way to edit, view, and print my lessons and store all the little things I need to remember from one class meeting to the next. This file is meant to be run on the desktop version of Excel on a Windows PC, and you have to click this Enable button. I'll talk more about compatibility at the end of the video. Once enabled, the lesson planning form will load and you'll be on what I call the tall sheet where you see your schedule. If you click on any one of these cells in the grid corresponding to your period and day, the lesson for that will automatically load. And all of these fields are adjustable. The most important button on here is the help button. It will tell you how to use all of these different features. I'll just show you one or two things. So if I go to this first lesson and I wanna copy that, what I do is I just say copy current lesson, I can use the green arrow to go to the next lesson. If I mouse over description and I click it, that'll paste just that. If I click this yellow text box, it pastes uh, all of it. If I want to see all the lessons for a given day, I can click on that day, and this gives me a, a long-term uh, view of this. And I can clear any of these lessons. I can uh, copy, so if I copy this row, I can double click and it'll paste just that, or I can paste this and it'll click the whole thing. Uh, lots of little features here to adjust the size, adjust the view. Again, the all important help button will give you more information about that. If you wanna get printable lessons, if you click this button, it's going to generate uh, lesson plans for every one of the days and they'll be color coded just the way they are um, in your spreadsheet and you can control these uh, fields. In fact, the way you'll do that is back on the lesson planning form. If you go over here, there's a button here that says edit lesson plan form. And it's actually kind of clever. Anything you type here will be in the lesson form. Anything you use here from these drop downs will populate with the actual data from, from that, that field. I know that's a little intense. Uh, I can make a much longer video if there's interest and go through the features. But in the meantime, if you open up the file and you click help, it'll tell you how to use all of these different things. For example, if I mouse over the minus one or plus one, that's going to preview the lesson that is two days in front of, behind, um, et cetera. I just really had a lot of fun making this and I hope that uh, other people find this uh, useful. To set this up for yourself, there's a few steps you need to do, beginning with clicking the add or edit schedule button on the main form and you will be led through a series of steps to set this up. You'll enter a nice short name for each section and choose a color. You'll give names to each of your periods and then you'll also give names to each of your cycle days. A, B, C, D, E might be day one, day two, might be Monday through Friday. Now fill in your schedule by using the drop downs to choose your sections and place them in the right letter period combinations. You can have additional uh, schedules up to six total, maybe for semester two, quarter three, quarter four, maybe an assembly schedule. And these numbers one through six will be important for us to reference on the school days worksheet momentarily. The final but most important initial setup step is to enter your school's calendar. It's very important that you add all of the days that your school meets. Do not put weekends, do not put holidays, but you will not be able to add days later. So if you have any doubt, just put the day in anyway. It's also important to uh, give the cycle day. If your schedule is the same every day, you can just put that as a one. If you have six days in your cycle, you put one through six. If it's in every other day, one and two, but you're gonna use numbers no matter what you call them. The next thing you're going to do, and, and this is important, is you're going to type the schedule type. So of the six schedules that we made, or up to six, you need to tell which one you want that day. So you might have all ones for the first semester, all twos for the second semester. You might have a three for an assembly schedule. It's really designed to be up to you and be flexible. I'm trying to keep this short, but I really have to show you. If you click long-term planning, what it will do is it will give you the number of days before or after you choose just for your class. So you can long-term plan. And this will be true no matter what days of the week or what periods they meet. It's in the meeting number order. Also on that form, if you want to do more than one section at the same time, you can do that and it will be color coded. And the beauty of this is 
each row is in the sequence that it will occur in real life. So it makes it a little easier to, to, to keep track of. I'll also point out that you can change the zoom here to make it bigger or smaller. You can make the font size different. You can change the width, although you've got to reload the form in order for that uh, to show, but that, that is something you can control. When in doubt, press the help button. I think it's also important to point out that we can edit the field and you know, there'll be a message here to tell you all about it, but these field names are editable by you. You can make them say whatever you want. You can change the order by typing the number. Anything with a zero doesn't display and this will be the text box height size. So it's very customizable. So say I wanted to have, I don't know, attendance for some reason, because I want to keep track of it. And I want to make that the first field. And let's say I don't want to even want to have a description. So I just take that away and I make that a zero that will, that will hide that now. Now when I go to the tall worksheet, you'll see attendance is first and there is no description. And when you go to the long-term planning, it's going to reflect that as, uh, as well. You can edit here and it's live. And then if you go here, it will show up there automatically. I really had a lot of fun um, making this and I hope that somebody out there finds it, finds it helpful. Just a final word about compatibility. This does use Visual Basic for applications. Um, it's built into Excel. Most school districts um, will let you use macros and I can show you how to change that setting if it's not uh, enabled by default. Um, if you're on a Mac, support for VBA is dodgy. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'd appreciate somebody letting me know that. But even without any VBA code, if it's Excel newer than 2016, this tall sheet should display just like that. And that's still useful in terms of being able to see the, the layout of how the courses are. For example, I had my second semester here on a rotating schedule and, uh, and you can see. Now, if you don't see the enable button, you can go up here to file and then you're gonna go to options. And then you're gonna go to trust center, trust center settings. You are gonna go to macro settings. And this is important. Um, this could be grayed out, but most schools let you do this. You want to disable VBA macros with notifications, not, not this first one. And you definitely don't want to just enable any old uh, macro. But if you do that, it should, should work every time now. If you've stuck with me uh, this long, I'll show you my favorite thing here is just simply being able to use my arrow keys and go up and down and navigate and have the, the lesson uh, load. Uh, I'd like to say teaching is hard. The internet is full of mostly web-based, vaguely to extremely expensive and often too rigid or unsupported programs. I wanted something snappy, space efficient, and on the screen, easy to use. Something where my day-to-day -day planning and formal planning happen in one step, where I can easily move things around, where I can keep track of something for me and some things for a broader audience. Something that just works on my lockdown school computer. This is the result. I have no intentions of ever selling this. I like the idea that I'm making a fellow teacher's life just a little easier. If you want to send me a note that you're using this, that is all the payment I need. Feel free to request features or update report options. If there are any updates to this, I will post an updated file in the YouTube video description. And you'll find that video at www.mrhosey.com slash planner. I tend to notice replies to YouTube videos and Twitter first, but you can also go ahead and uh, email me. There's a button to click on the main form. Well, as long as I'm already coming up against the all important YouTube 10 minute mark, let me just take a moment and explain a little bit about how this works. All of these um, are populated using Excel formulas. It does use the choose function. So I think you have to have at least Excel 2016, Office 365 has that. These colors are all done using conditional formatting and they'll match the colors that you chose. The code, if you ever wanna see it, and this is true for any Excel file, if you press Alt plus F11, it brings in something called the VBA editor. If you click on lesson form, you can see how it's uh, laid out. Uh, most of the code for this, if you double click on this, you, you can go through and look, there's nothing uh, nefarious here. Um, but I thought you, you, know, you might get a kick out of that. Uh, I don't want anybody to sell this code or anything, but I, I'm not uh, I'm not planning on selling this. So hopefully this is uh, useful to somebody and I do appreciate it if somebody lets me know. 
I, uh, I enjoy that. Somebody's going to ask, I probably spent upwards of 30 or 40 hours coding this this summer, but it was kind of fun. I, I enjoy it. It relaxes me. Um, so 